So just going to be a quick video, Transit Connect, wiring the split charger for the second battery, how to get from the battery, the main battery, to inside the vehicle. The easiest way i found, I know not everyone will have a piece of welding wire, but a coat hanger will do the same thing, is thread the welding wire through first, which is easier. Handy hooks on the end of the battery cable anyway. Just fasten the welding wire, MIG wire or, or coat, whatever you've got, and hopefully it should pull through fairly easily. So here we go. Feeding it through slowly, just make sure you don't catch the cable and damage it. That's the first section done. So we've got the first section from the battery. I know this is not connected yet. But as I've shown you before, coming up through the back of the headlight to this section here. So now, we've got the welding wire going through the back end of the wing, down to the front. Same again, just tie it round the end there. Hopefully we should be able to pull it through and get us a bit further along. There we go. That's the next section done. Then after there, we're going to go from the wing, down inside the back of the wing, and it will come out on the foam pad on the wing section. And then from there, it goes down the A-pillar through a grommet into the vehicle, but I will do another video on this part later. So now, working from inside the, the, the van, where the A-pillar is in the top hinge, you can just see, I've had to use some, basically like old fashioned coat hanger wire, it's a bit stronger. I've pushed that through from there, outside the van, which now comes out on this section. Sorry, at the top of the wing edge near the bonnet hinge. So now, I'll hopefully hook it on, and fingers crossed, it'll pull, pull through to the A-pillar. Right, fingers crossed. So now where the hinge is again, I'm getting over the wire slowly pulling through. I think this is probably the most difficult part. Um, but once you've got the wire through, hopefully it should pull through fine. Seems to be going okay. And there we have it. Pulled through. Down past the through the A-pillar. So, now we've come through the back of the wing edge, um, into sort of the door jam, if you like. Just make sure, I've not done this yet, but where the cable comes through here, it does want cable tying tightly to that, just in case it moves and it gets trapped in the door. Um, as you can see, there's quite a big gap anyway, and once you shut the door, the gap only increases, so there's not much fear of it uh, getting trapped there. Just below the, um, just below that bracket there, there's the opening where I've taken a grommet out, where I've threaded the MIG wire through, and it comes out just inside, just there, as you can see. Um, don't forget, just make sure, like I've done, is to put the grommet through the cable first, obviously otherwise after you can't do it. What I've done is just drilled a small pilot hole. Um, you don't need a very big hole through the grommet because it will stretch and uh, it, it'll also stop water getting in there. You can always put a bit of silicon seal around there after as well. So I'm going to try and now pull this through with one hand and try it whilst trying to video it. So. Here we go. Just a bit of 
pushing through that first section and hopefully we'll ease through. Just keep feeding it through. And I think we're about there. It's the wrong angle, I think, at the minute. Nearly. Ah, there we are. So, we're now inside the van. Obviously, for once you, the, the most difficult part is getting it inside the van. Once you're in the van, um, world's your oyster, really, wherever, depending on where you're going to put your battery, but you can, you can obviously run it down the side here, what's good cleaning there, but down this side, and then obviously you, you're through into the back of the van. Hope you enjoyed the video.